Okay. So, here is a picture of moi. And um, I've been getting a grip of people asking me how to do this on local space and wherever. Just It gets annoying after a while. So it's like kind of like learning your damn style. But anyways, I'm going to show you. I'm going to be a nice little sweetheart and show you how to do this. Okay, so first, I just like kind of do some, a few touch-ups on my face. If the image is too big, I resize this. Um, where am I going? Go to image. There we go. And then go to resize. And I used to put mine around 500 to 300. Or to 400 to 300. I'm going to put this to 400. Okay. I don't want it all up in your face. And, um, <laughs> anywho. Um, okay, now I'm going to go to duplicate layer. And you see these things um, under my eyes right here. Things I don't know what um, under eye circles. I guess I just go and cut out what I don't like, and then I go to an, a clearer spot on my face. And yeah, you can kind of see that was cut out, but I'm going to fix that. Okay. Just so that this part, I don't think it really needs to be per perfect if you're gonna do what the next plot, what I'm gonna do. But anyways, you go to the hill, you can go to the healing brush for your little tiny pimples. Wait, what did that say? Oh wait, I'm on the wrong thing. Spot healing brush, yeah. And just this will just erase it like like butter, like butter, baby. Okay. Let me see how it looks now. You see those circles are gone. Okay. And then. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to go to duplicate that layer again. Um, I like to go to Im image adjustments and then vibrance and then. I just take the vibrance down a little bit because you don't need to be that damn vibrant. <laughs> uh, yeah. And I just take the vibrant down a little bit. See the difference in the vibrant. Okay. Then I'm going to merge these two together. Then duplicate again. Layers are going to be your freaking best friend in Photoshop. Like, I'm dead freaking serious with you. But anyways... I'm going to duplicate that layer and then I'm going to go to layer up here at the top, new layer. You can name this if you want, but I'm not going to press OK. And then go to the paint bucket tool and go to the colors down here and then go up to a nice blue color. Press OK. Click on the picture and it's going to fill it all blue. <gasps> what happened to the picture? No. Then you can go over here, select, set the blending mode for layer, and go to exclusion. And then go to opacity and fade it to a decent looking damn level. And then you're going to take this and drag it up. And then go to soft white. Yeah, I don't really like how that looks. And you can kind of fade that to whatever if you want. And then go to you there. <laughs> My brother, he's all up. Anyways, <laughs> go to merge visible. <laughs> and then duplicate the layer again. And this is like pretty much finished for me. Oh no, I freaking lie, okay? Go to layer, new. Okay. Then I'm going to go to the eyedropper tool and I'm going to copy the color on my shirt. Zoom in, get the paint brush tool, and I'm going to make a little face on my head, or my mp3 player. This is so Kawahi. If you don't know what Kawahi is, go look it up. I hate when people keep asking me the same stuff over and over again. Okay, this is like nowhere near perfect but yeah you can like draw a little music note or something yeah you can draw some music notes if you like 
And now the um, thing that a lot of people keep like asking me about with, is how I get these hearts on here. Well, hold on, let me go right here. And I'm gonna go to, where the hell? Edit, oh yeah, edit, cut, layer, new. Okay, and then edit, paste. Move this up here. And then I'm gonna go do the same thing. I'm gonna cut this out. Edit, cut, layer, new layer. And then I'm gonna paste that on here. Okay. And move that up here. And now you see this animation frame thing that I have open. How to get this open, you're gonna go to Windows, Animations. Well, that closes it obviously because it was open. But anyways, and to make these move now, I'm gonna go here and this is going to duplicate the frame. And um, I'm going to, yeah, select on this, move this down, move this down. Oh my god, the face is moving. I hate when that happens. Move that down. And you see, that makes them move. But if you don't want music notes, if you want hearts, get a heart. I made this heart. It's really easy to draw. If you want to see how I made this, maybe ask me and I'll make one on it. But anyways, you can go here, paste, uh, free transformation. apply and add this part somewhere I'm going to add this up here and then I'm going to put my name seven minutes wow you know what I think the music note looks a little bit off but oh, anyways I'm going to put my name whoa that's huge set the size down banners Damn you, goddamn you, motherfuckers. Okay, anyways. <laughs> okay, free, transformed, whatever. And where the hell is my damn A? And then I'm just gonna change the font because that's ugly. Where's Cutie Bot? Where is it? Or oh, this is cute whatever but anyways that's just basically how I edit my pictures it's real basic I know this looks funky right here I'm not gonna leave that there I'm not even fine I'm gonna save this picture I would add another one of these though oh well I knew it was gonna be doing that with the heart for oh, fuck <laughs> let me just add another one of these which one is it Okay, it's this one. Duplicate a layer. Let me move this up like right here somewhere. And then move it down here. Let me see. He's listening to music. Come on, dude, move. Or like so. Uh, I want to move this one down. Or I want to move this one out here. Hey guys, my little English accent and move this one up. Ooh, look, that's cute. That's pretty. But yeah, that's basically how I edit my pictures. So stop asking me how to edit them. If you want to see a specific way that I edit my picture, then leave it down below and ask me. But yeah, thanks for watching, I guess. And I hope that this helped you guys. Bye-bye. Okay, guys, so I had to come back and I forgot to show you guys how I saved the GIF image. So you're going to go to File. After you like how it is, file, save, go all the way down to save for web and devices. And click that and this window should pop up and make sure that it just um, 
It doesn't need to be transparent, I don't think. It doesn't need to be checked. But mine are always checked transparent, so make sure it's checked that because I don't know how it's going to turn out the other way. And then you're just going to go to save and it's going to pop up a, a screen. It's going to say save as what. And then you're going to save it. Do, 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 whatever you're going to save it as. And then press save. But I'm not going to save it. Okay? So, yeah. That's it. Bye.